Hello and welcome to Sovereign RPG. I am Sovereign and today we're going to do a quick introduction tutorial into Encounters, one of the many ways you can make ISK in EVE Echoes. Now it's one of the easiest and simplest ways of getting in to make ISK and it's one of the safest because you can do it in high sec where there is currently no PvP. So what you want to do, you want to go up into the character select screen if you haven't already put it in your shortcuts which I have here because I've been doing quite a lot of these to make the uh, actual advanced tutorials go quicker when you pick one of the optionals but we'll go into that in another guide so what you have on the encounters tab is news and the news is when you go into this you'll see all of the different kinds of encounters that you have during the game now if you don't filter these will have transport investigation missions mining missions so if you have i use it for combat for example because it's a lot safer to do that at this moment in time you can pick high sec or low sec you can take that tick of low sec off so that you will never have to enter a dangerous part of space where people can attack you so as i said this is one of the safer ways for newer players to make is and it's also in an instanced part of space so you can't have other people come in and kill your rats as well so if we take a look at the combat missions, we'll go over here. Here we have the Menmatar here. We have the ones that are neutral. Now this is only the tier one to tier four ones. You can actually see that there's tier five to tier seven and T8 to tier 10. Now currently I am only flying a Thrasher one, so I can't, I can, but I'm not gonna teach you how to cheese the advanced missions, not in this current guide. This is for newer players and a basic introduction. So we're gonna do it in T1 to T4, which currently can do easily in a Thrasher. So if we accept this one here that will put it over there but just to go over a little bit of something here you see these little icons here this are for the four different factions now the four factions have different storylines which we'll go over in a second now you can see that once you have done these you have finished this particular one in the storyline quests you'll have a tick that pops up right next to it so if we go over to the story you'll see that in the Kaldari we have these ones but at the moment I am Minmatar on this character and you can see the ones that I've completed are all here you click on these you'll get information a list of all the quests that are available for this one and the ones that you have done have ticks now there are different levels so you have the standard normal ones for the tier that you're in and then you have the special ones now these ones can be very difficult to complete t8 onwards so you're gonna have to at least have battle cruisers to be able to do these you can do them in cruisers again it's another cheesing way but we can't i'm not going to show you how to do that in this video now when you do these storyline missions you do get the survivor supply chest now you can get any one of these items on here and it comes at random so this one will give any of these particular items one of those particular items now if you open up a secondary one here we have this one here now if you click on this one over here you do get a different kind of chest with a different set of items and the guardian supply chest gives you large equivalents of these items and also better weapons the interruptive warp disruptor for example you have the chance to get that one but this one is one of the higher level ones so you will give you weapons for certain battle cruisers like the oracle and battleships now obviously this one which is the survivor crate will give you medium weapons and if you go to the number one here the freedom one you go down this will give you the revolt which gives you your small versions of all of the modules so if you're farming the stories to get faction loot the storyline loot which is on the same level as faction items you can go from the lowest level which is for freedom matar reborn which is next and you have disaster relief then you have angel or devil and that's in the mimitar if you go to the amar you're going to have uh, sparks of rebellion being the lowest for the small divine redemption true divine trial and then friends by blood galente you'll have a super soft drink move on to business magnate sweet poison and modern world then we go to Kaldari and it'll be for patriotism then the soldier's way mega corporation then bad hair day and these will all give you relevant items for the different factions you are doing the missions for so you'll get the rail guns and the missiles in the kaldari missions in the mimitar missions you will get auto cannons and strike cannons uh, going into the amar you'll get beam lasers and pulse lasers and in galente you'll just get the rail guns for some reason they do not give drones which is just weird and everything about the drones is just weird they should give drones in the galente missions now you know all about the stories we'll go into the news and we'll pick up and we'll go and fly into an encounter so now you know what the storylines do we'll go into the different missions over here in the filter system so we'll have a look at some of these so this one is called epidemic and it's a transport mission so you will be able to use any of your hauling ships 
and you'll have ones in here this is another transport this is asset transfer into bus so you'll be able to move items from one to another using delivery ships and then you have mining ones which will basically you just collect a load of pyroxes for these ones you'll go and fly over to a certain point and drop those pyroxes off and that's all the different kinds of actual missions that we have in here so now we're going to go into the journal and it will come up here and it will just have these two speech bubbles here you just click those you get a little bit of a backstory on what the mission you're doing is and then you'll have this pop up with autopilot to the area in which it is and we know that it is currently only one jump away so you click confirm then you click confirm again to unduck and autopilot now you can turn these options off in the settings, but that will be done in another video as well. So we're going to come back once we get to the actual place we're heading to. So when you get to the system, once it gets you to the autopilot, you'll get another pop up that says warp to the cosmic anomaly because this is all on auto. So they're trying to help you from getting blown up, which is a nice addition for the newer players. So you click on that confirm button and then it will warp you to the encounter. Now the tier one to tier four encounters are very easy. There's only a few ships in there, usually frigates, no destroyers. Sometimes if you get the tier four one, there may be a destroyer in there, T3 plus, sorry. And it looks like we only have a couple of frigates, a couple of slashes and a rifter. So when you're in encounter, same as any other anomaly, you click the auto and it will pick up all of the stuff and you can click your weapons on here and you just kill all the enemies in the encounter i'm going to speed this up a little bit we'll skip forward to the end when we get into the last couple of rats once you kill the last one on the first wave as you've just seen the next wave pops up so you have to target them and put them on there at the moment i have auto orbit because this is my uh, sort of just trial account is to, to test lots of different aspects of the game so we'll be back again once we finish this wave and we're back again and we actually have a third spawn in this one so it's a higher tiered one there are 27 kilometers away so we're gonna have to speed over so then we have the afterburner on to make sure that we can get there quickly 619 meters per second and we'll get over there we started hitting them once we get into range now these are a lot easier than the anomalies a quick couple of bits of information for those people who'd like to dig a little deeper into what the encounters do so the encounters actually drop less loot so not always will there be a wreck for you to loot at the end of these uh, encounters. Not the same as anomalies where everything in an anomaly will pretty much drop a wreck so you can pick up some stuff. In the encounters, you'll be picking up a lot less wrecks, a lot less items. So it's not very good if you're looking to farm items. You should definitely still just go for the combat anomalies. Now, while we're killing these last guys over here, we'll go into the encounters menu again. And I will just show you something in the news options here. Now, this refresh button, if you're only farming a certain kind of actual anomaly so when you finish the actual anomaly it comes up it tells you you've done it and it gives you your ear skin the bottom there so as i was saying when this comes up you have this refresh button if you run out of mimitar or kaldari or galente or amar whatever ones you're running if you're running out of mining or transport or any of those things you can actually just click this refresh button and it will repopulate and there'll be a 30 minute timer before you can do that again so do as many of those missions as you can in the area around you showing you one jump away one jump away one jump two jumps two jumps it gives you the distance gives you what security level that system is so you know if it's high sec you're going to be safe from pvp and it tells you how much isk you're going to make on those but that in the combat in the combat encounters you will not just earn that 3000 isk you will also earn the bounties for the pirates that you kill if you like this video make sure to like and sub we have a patreon set up for anyone who like to go that little bit extra please let me know down in the comments what guides you would like to see first i will have a guide out every other day fly safe and avoid local chat scams